while we're alive. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. Guess what time I woke up? 2.30. <laughs> That's the life of an old man. The uh, 2.30 bathroom break and you can't go back to sleep. Can you guys hear me okay? And I have this thing over to the side. If I need to move the mic into the middle, just give me a, a shout out. There's an entire three people here with me. So thanks for joining. And I have been sick for the last three days and did not make a video. I tried like hell yesterday to make a video. I normally launch every three days. Had a what I thought was a really good idea <clears throat> to do a video about and okay i'm hearing that it's coming in good cool um couldn't pull it off man um sat there and the fever was kicking in and my mind would wander and off i would go and i'd get started <sighs> and i just couldn't close the deal so i figured you know what would be fun is an early morning live stream uh, I do one live stream a month. I might make it two this month because usually the wifey joins me. But like a normal human being, she's still asleep. <laughs> and I am still here. And so before I get into the comments, I thought I'd bring you up to speed as to what we've got going on, which is a lot. And um, I, let's see, number one would be... Geez, there's so many things. We're interviewing, excuse me, we're interviewing different contractors. We did purchase a piece of land. And uh, I think next year, we're going to try to, this year's we're in money-saving mode. We're going to try to pull the trigger on that. So, met some interesting people. And my method, this madness, has been to go talk to people that are building not the actual contractors because contractors are going to tell you what a great job they're doing um i want to hear from the people that are actually building a house and what they like and what they don't like about different contractors and so far there's four different guys out here that are building homes that i know personally i've gone and visited their little job sites and mixed bag of emotions as far as who to use and what to do and then there has been the uh, a offer from a cosmetic surgeon in Manila that wanted me to come out and have some cosmetic surgery done if I promoted his business, Dr. Bato, B-A-T-O. The only problem I have with doctors and dentists and lawyers is that there's no way to research them. There's no way to find out if they're good, bad, or different. Um, you can't find out where they graduated from or that you can find out where they graduated from, but you can't figure out where in their class they graduated from. So those are the, the concerns that I have. I have bags under my eyes and it's a fairly simple procedure. And uh, I'd like to get those lifted up. And then May has some, some issues that she'd like to see if he could address. So, I don't know. Uh, cosmetic surgery, interesting. What do you guys think? Let's see what we got going on here. All right, we got our buddy Off the Cuff Ed Adventures with Jamie with the super sticker, man. You are a rock star. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Um, that is appreciated. Where are we at here? Oh, the eclipse. How was the eclipse? Um, I think that's what I titled this thing, the solar eclipse. That's the one thing. I don't like crowds. But that is the one thing that I think would be cool. If I was in the States, I think I would make the journey in a motorhome or something and go to a small town and get the glasses and see the eclipse. I've always been fascinated with space. I've always been fascinated with space travel. 
astronauts for landing on the moon, the whole enchilada. And uh, that's just been a big thing. You know, when I was a kid in 69, we landed on the moon. Some people say it's false. I think it's true. And I've just always had this love affair with the solar system. And uh, I saw Haley's Comet. That was something that I would go out every night when I was in Vegas with my kids, and we'd look at Haley's Comet, and we'd talk about it. So that was cool. I've witnessed that. I have seen eclipses before. Um, I can't remember the year, but I've seen a couple. And this one I would love to have seen. I would love to have been there. I would love the, the vibe, the little party atmosphere, and been in a small town and just gone and joined people and done that. And then there is a book deal on the table that has been recently been floated in front of me. So I'm meeting with a gentleman next month uh, about doing that. And so I think we're caught up. Let me get back to comments here and see where we're at. We're in uh, Ohio. Thank you, Andy. Global Greg is here. There's uh, my friend Jamie. Loud and clear. Cool. Good to know. Sound is good. Cool. Good, good, good. I'll blow through these as much as possible. Let's see, Gary. I have planned on it for two or three months just for a month. What's the best way to find a place to stay for that short period of time? <clears throat> Here's the problem I have with questions like this. My answer is a hotel. Um, I don't, I didn't approach my um, trip over here with any pre planning, like hotels or anything. I just got on a plane, landed, got to a taxi to so take me to a hotel. And I did that in Cebu. And then the next night, I got, I figured out where the bus station was. I said, take me to Dumaguete, get on the bus to Dumaguete. Same thing. I said, hey, take it to a hotel. So um, I can float a couple of names out there of hotels. I don't know. I'm not familiar. Because here's the thing. I live here. And so I don't go to Airbnbs. And I don't talk to a lot of I just don't do it. If I don't do it, I don't know how to advise on it. So Hotel Ascension, Sierra Hotel. Bricks Hotels right on the boulevard. If it was me and I was you, I would get over here. I might book a room somewhere for three nights and then kind of take it from there, the old boots on the ground deal. And then if you come into town and you hook up with me, and we have a cup of coffee, which I do a lot, um, then it's easy for me to put you in connection with people that do know those sort of things. I hope that's fair. Oh, hello, Eric. Good afternoon from SoCal. I guess it was only a certain part of the country, like through Texas and that area is there, that it had the solar eclipse. I don't know. Did you get a partial one in California? Any update on John and how he's... Yeah, I've got a video out about that. Um, I can put a link in the description box of this on the latest about John. Um, John came back a couple months ago and I did a video about his return and then he asked me to take it down because he didn't want any attention and then he changed his mind <laughs> he said go ahead and put it back up he doesn't want to be on video I don't blame him he got beat up at the comments and so did his woman and uh, it was so on that video, I've actually held the comments, and but it's there. And like I said, at the end of this video, I'll be sure to put a link to the latest John update. He's back um, to give you a short synopsis. He's got his Social Security check rolling in each month. He put some money in his pocket before he came out here. The video explains it best. And uh, he's got a transportation. He's back together with his kids. And he's, um, and that's kind of like the short end of the story. 
I am doing well, my friend. Thank you so much. I w- I'm feeling better now. Um, I, I was really funky. I uh, had a low-grade fever for about three days. It slowed me down. I had to cancel a lot of things. I had a video I was going to do on one day. I canceled that. That was an exterior shoot. And then I did a tried like hell last night to put one together to launch last night and couldn't do it. I just couldn't pull it off. Um, my mind was was foggy. Started antibiotics a couple days ago, and that seemed to be the trick. And May, of course, has been awesome. She's been taking care of me and shoving stuff down my throat. Um, this pill, that pill. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Jude, yeah. I'm sorry May's not here with us right now. She's, like I said, she's the only one with any common sense. She's still sleeping. <laughs> Thank you. I am feeling better. So anyway, that's what's on the table. We got, um, what do you guys think about uh, cosmetic surgery? What do you think about that? Do you think that that's a vanity thing? Uh, do you think it's something that you should do, not do? Um, curious to get your feedback on it. I'm going to, I'll do it or I won't do it, no matter what anybody says. <laughs> but, um I like to hear from you. Yeah, you know, this is kind of a cool time to do a live stream. It's actually the best time where you get the most people, I found, is at 8 o'clock at night here. Because that seems to hit you guys um, when you're more available. And I don't normally like to do live streams, but I like connecting with you guys. And speaking of connecting, there's over 200 members now on my little member channel for 99 cents, <laughs> the 99 cent store video channel. And so I've been having fun with that. And I've been able to get off the reservation a little bit, and talk about some different things and answer some questions there. Just finished watching the eclipse, making me feel like it's so it's in the, Yeah, I love that stuff. I love, you know, big ideas i like the it just it does make you feel really really like your little problems how insignificant they are compared to what's going on and just the big big questions you know when did time begin and all that kind of stuff and i imagine it was i am envious um that is one of my passions it's always been the universe and formation of it and the beginnings and all that. It's just been, it's just been one of those things that I dwell. I, I, I think about it almost every day. I was up at 2.30, bro. <laughs> and you know what? That's one of the things about being older is that actually is a pretty common occurrence. Three o'clock is usually when you, you need your, bo- your bathroom break. And for the last three days, I've been sleeping. And I just think that that's the best medicine is just to let your body rest, relax, heal. You're sick anyway. So um, if I would eat some food, it would just, it was like a narcotic. I would just immediately, all the blood would drain from my brain, what little brain I have, and go right to my stomach. And I was just like, I'm done. That's it. It's over. So I must have slept 18 hours a day for the last three days. And today I finally, finally feel better. So I didn't do a video last night. I wanted to, so I, but I still want to connect with you guys. So that's that. Yeah, that's uh, been the topic of about five videos. Um, there's a topic that or a thing that you'll never see me do um to me that sort of came and went i know he got arrested that was a matter of time um there's been five or six videos just blasted up on my phone about paul cardwell's been arrested it was just a matter of when um i did the original video where he told this paul tale uh, about his whole thing in Thailand, and that's where he got out of. And so, um, I was 
I just know this about, I'll say this about Paul Cardwell. If his lips are moving, you know the rest. He's just a born again liar. And he's a con man. He conned me. He conned the Filipino P. He conned um, Mike and Mark and the rest of the group. He went on every channel he could trying to promote his. And um, very, very, very good at what he does. But not good enough, apparently. Updated on World Zoom. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Basically, it's a newspaper article. The reason I don't go there and do a video about that is it's nothing that you guys can't read in the paper. So basically, what people are doing on their videos is they're reading the paper to you. And um, that's fine. That's their deal. It gets them some views. To me, I got other things to talk about. Let's see. Finally, catch a live video during the live taping. You are the kindest person. Thank you so much. We did not meet when I came there, but that was my fault. You offered time and place. Oh, I'm sorry we missed you, brother. Uh, I do try to, my best to meet with people when they come out here. I'm, I'm trying to make myself available. Let's see. Do you and May plan on doing it? Well, if we did, it would be to Manila, where this cosmetic surgeon is, uh, and see him. I've never spent any time in Manila. And I've always wanted to. I mean, it doesn't float my boat as far as big cities and all that jazz. Um, but I haven't given it a real shot. I've been through it. I've been in the airport, which is horrible. Um, May used to work up there. so, But she didn't get out much either. So it would be interesting to go. I'd like to spend a few days in Manila just to say I did it. Hell, it's just a plane right away, right? There's my buddy. She saw my members only where I answered her question about Holly Hunter, right? About the car business. Good morning. Good morning. Jen Jill. I survived. Yeah. <laughs> People have these tans, you know, where they're real white across their eyes and the rest of them's real dark. Yeah, the thoughts on gone very pragmatic, man. I um, uh, it's different out here. It it really, really is. I have. I, I'll I'll tell you a horror story. Who doesn't like a good horror story? I have a friend of mine, and I asked, I, I referred him to somebody. And I said, I think you should talk to this guy before you make a move. And he says, Oh, I already got everybody lined up. And I said, Okay. I just let it go at that. So he bought 5,000, uh, what do you call it? I don't want to say hectares, that's not right. Meters, 5,000 square meters worth of land. And turns out that the lawyer he used is the next door neighbor to the guy that sold him the property. And out of his 5,000 square meters, 24,000 is, or 26,000 is usable. The other back half is annexed and can't be built or touched. And uh, so there you have it. And I didn't shove it up his nose that I was right and he was wrong. I'm just like, well, whatever. And then, um, so when it comes to stuff like that, if you guys have any questions about purchasing land, I'm going to be doing videos when we do start the construction. We're going to keep the location quiet, of course. I made the mistake of showing everybody where I lived when I first moved in here. <laughs> and so that was not smart. Uh, we've had a couple of encounters that weren't too pleasant. However, uh, the next place, we're going to show the building process. Interview the builder. Um, I think I've got the guy that I want to use, but nothing's final till it's final. We are still waiting for the final paperwork. Um, that takes time. So they will tell you, go ahead and build. You're fine to build. And you can put up a structure. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the paperwork through, blah, 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 blah. Well, that doesn't fly with me. I want the paperwork. I want the, I want the title. So think of it as a pink slip to your car. 
you can't transfer ownership until you sign off the, the pink slip, right? The pink slip is the Cadillac of titles. A torrent title out here is Cadillac of land titles. When I have my torrent title in my hand, that's when we'll start breaking ground, excavating, and doing all that. And I talked to my lawyer the other day, and he's been very upfront. He's been saying, you know, look, man, we're still waiting. It's got to be signed off on. Nothing goes fast out here. I can tell you that. Why did he get arrested? Are you talking about Cardwell? Um, I think he's got wants and warrants somewhere. I don't know is, is my answer. I don't know how the hell he got a passport. Um, you can watch the other channels. The news, what does it say? Because uh, to me, it's just old news, and it's something that happened a long time ago. He went home, stayed with his mother for a while, pretended to be in the Philippines, of course, when he wasn't, because that's just his M.O. And then did come back out, started up his channel again, was living in Cebu, and when he went to register online for his renewal or his, he was trying to get an SRRV visa, I believe, um, the fingerprints came up. They do an NDI check. They do, they do, they do a background check on you. And uh, guess what? Came up that he's, he's wanted. So what he's wanted for, I don't know. The only thing that I've heard out of his mouth is that he still owes taxes. Um, but again, like I said, if you hear it out of his mouth, divide it by the zip code he's standing in. Because I don't believe a word the man says. A very good, very good comment. He had me put together until the very end of the video that I did with it. You guys saw that. He told this tall tale. I think it's almost a year old now. Uh, about his time in Thailand. And I happened to be living in Thailand at the same time. So everything he was saying lined up with what I knew until the end of the video. And he said that he was paying $1 million USD per day in bribes. And that sent signals off in my head. But it was at the end of the video. It wasn't for me to get into it and argue. I just said, okay, well, sayonara. We'll see you next time. That was that. And then the world took care of, you know, you guys got to investigating because you smelled a rat and you outed him. And then um, uh, he got into it with a couple of other YouTubers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Montelli, you know what? I always liked Montelli and I have not. Montelli and I met a couple of times. What a gentleman. He always, he was always a gentleman. Um, interesting dude. He would come into town and not say anything. And I bumped into him a couple of times, once at Hypermart and another time at Bo's Coffee under weird circumstances that I won't, I won't get into. Um, and we would sit and be us for a while. And then he just disappeared. He wasn't a guy to make friends. You know, he wasn't a guy that that got attached to anybody while he was here. Um, but I always enjoyed his company. And I just one of those guys that just kind of went off the radar. Phil Donahue. <laughs> Wish I had his money. <laughs> Don't do cosmetic surgery. Okay. There's an opinion. This guy looks like he's reverse aging. Got to get out of the West, man. Are you talking about me? It's just the light. Real men don't need plastic surgery. Well, then I'm in. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like a very Western USA to be worried about. Are you talking about surgery? But do you? But you do, of course. Saw the eclipse. It was a fabulous event. I'm envious of you. What is the dealio with Mark Thornton? Is he in deep trouble with the lawsuits, etc., from the fighting incidents? Um, I know all about that, and I don't go there. I don't get into the weeds. 
I don't like my channel to be a gossip channel. There's so many of those out there. And I really think they're a waste of time. Um, so just let it play out, I suppose. Um, I, I just don't want to go there. It's not what my channel is. I try to have some fun on my channel. I try to have some information on my channel. But the last thing I want to do is get into some sort of back and forth about a blabbing and chismus about some other guy. Um, I know more about Thornton than the people that are talking about Thornton. And yet I just keep it to myself and refuse to go there. In fact, I had a conversation last night with a guy that had a conversation with Mark and my name was brought up and uh, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, a positive experience. But again, here's my, here's my take on it. My life was just fine before I met Mark Thornton. And if I never see Mark Thornton again, my life will be just fine. And what Mark Thornton does or doesn't do doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. So why get why get worried about it? Why get up why get into it? I don't want to get into the weeds. I do not want to be a gossip show. Let's see, clear skies. Oh, that was the thing, too, was the clear skies. You know, the clouds cover and all that. Wouldn't that have been a bummer? That's so awesome. I wouldn't let a doctor who's working out be research cutting on my face. Well, I'm not saying it can't be researched. Um, I don't know how to check into these guys. Um, you know, you can go online and you can check into... Well, car dealerships, for example, you can read the ratings or or an electronic gadget or a new phone. I mean, you can hear all kinds of reviews and information, but try that on a doctor. I don't know how. Praying for Brother Paul, feeling better. I am feeling better, and I appreciate your prayers, man. Not a full eclipse in the floor. Yeah, I know. There was a band. Um, that went through a certain part of the United States. They actually drew a line on the map of watching it on TV. Ohio, Texas, those places, they saw it. I watched the eclipse using my welder's helmet. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> eclipse was amazing. Traveled to Southern Illinois to the band of totality. If you haven't seen it, totally, you've been missing 90, but what's cool about it? Yeah, I did see a, a, a total eclipse of something. I guess it was the sun. Um, when I was a little kid, I can't remember what year it was. Haley's comment was fun to watch. How you doing, Ben? Let's see, old dog watching from warm and sunny California. Good for you. It's hot as hell out here. Life is packed with hard decisions. Ball to stream, old dog, or watch my favorite Rockford files. <laughs> now, that is my kind of comment, Gary. <laughs> I'm going to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> Oslo, Norway's in the house. How cool is that? Davenport, Iowa. That's where my father was born. <laughs> now I sound like Mark Thornton. <laughs> That's where my father was born. <laughs> well, on the best summer list. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. The guy's going to write an article about me. And then I'm going to um, talk to him about ghost writers and all that kind of stuff. Five by five, right on. We can hear and we can see. It was cloudy and gloomy. It just got gloomier for 15 minutes. <laughs> there was sunshine state. Nobody was going to stop the sun. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are in rare form today. I'm loving it. <laughs> How are you doing there, Terry? Oh my God. I'm on 420 acres and the path of totality was cool as heck. I can imagine, Gary. There are YouTube videos about renting. Yeah. Here's the issue with renting out here, boys and girls, is it changes on a daily basis. And just to give you a, um, a, little, a little head up, heads up, 
Me and I have looked for a new place for over a year and can't find one. One that we think is worth the money. I mean, we're in a, uh, I hate to say the word dump, but we're, we're in a very modest little house that we rent. Um, you know, one person fits in the kitchen and uh, the rooms are very small. It's very, very, it's, it's a little confining, uh, but it's shelter from the storm and it's cheap. So it's 18,000 pesos a month and it hasn't gone up. So what the hell? Actually, I'm sorry, it's 19, it's 20,000, including internet. So that's less than 400 a month. Now we can switch over. I know guys are paying five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred a month. And uh, I just don't see enough juice for the squeeze. It would be a bigger kitchen. It would be, you know, maybe an extra bedroom, a little more modern bathroom. But I don't need to double my rent for bling. When we build, that makes a lot more sense because it will be a legacy for me, my legacy for me. Um, I want to make sure that I leave her with a free and clear house and um, no money issues when I have my own eclipse. <laughs> I'm doing good, Mr. Spice. How are you? <laughs> I'm in town called Little Norway and Viking City. The Vikings. Yeah, hit me up, man. Your name sounds very familiar. And I'm bad with names, so I apologize. We probably had 12 conversations, and I don't remember. Hello, Paul from Vegas. Sounds like you've had a bunch of stuff happening. Congrats. Try Agoda. Yeah, um, I use Agoda. Um, it's interesting because when we go to, when we do travel, the last trip we made was to Bacolod and Hilo. And Oh, actually, I'm lying to you. It was on my birthday. We stayed at the Sierra. And you walk into the lobby and you say, how much are your rooms? And they'll say, a hundred bucks. And do you accept a donut? And they'll say, yes. And so what's your password? So we get in and I punch in the same room that they just quoted me a hundred dollars on and it's $55. And I go, can I have it for that? They go, sure. And they actually think it's great because they, they're just, you know, they're working behind the counter. They don't own the place. And they think it's smart. Filipinas are very, you know, good penny pinchers. So they're, they encourage it. And that's the way to go is if you're coming into town, you're going to be bumping around for a month. It's very, very complicated from what I've seen of trying to find like a house to rent for just one month. Not that many people that want to do it. Uh, there's some crappy condos down on the uh, boulevard that I don't recommend. They're very uncomfortable. They're very restrictive. They're very expensive. They're overpriced. They're small. They're hot. Well, I mean, do I need to say more? Um, I don't want to say the name of them, but they're the only ones down on the boulevard. <clears throat> Been in them once. I never want to be in them again. Smaller than what I'm in now for twice the price. <sighs> So I say just come here, get a room, you know, loosey goosey, and then take a couple of days, check out the town, meet with a few guys. I know plenty of people. I know people that will, for a fee of twenty or thirty bucks, they'll actually take you around and show you and show you places. That's the, they have like little tour businesses. Hey, fully eclipsed New York. God bless you. Right on, Warren. Good morning, greetings from Ireland. Just arrived home, watch the eclipse. Thanks, Van. Pretty made. Van is pretty pretty. Let's see here. I, I don't know. I might really be up behind my comments. Uh, you're still 15 years away to retire. Wow. I didn't know I had that young an audience. <laughs> Hello from London. Thank you for coming in. Any Filipina travel no visa? Can any Filipina travel to Thailand? No visa or anything special needed. No, there's no special visas or anything needed. You just need to get her ass through immigration. <laughs> there's the, there's the, there's the uh, catch. They're actually 
more welcoming all the Asian countries. Like when I went to Vietnam, they had a special line for Asians. And they could just bop in and bop out, no problem. Much more than a Russian or an American or someone from the UK. So no, May didn't have any issues in Thailand as far as visa. Her and I just went down to the Bureau of Immigration and did our thing. How soon will John be broke again? I don't think John can be broke again. Um, I'll admit he's not the best manager of money. You know, he doesn't make the best decisions in life. Um, but, hey, there's May. Baby May, you want to be on the live stream? I don't hear anything coming from your mouth. Oh, you're sleepy? Okay, sorry. All right. I guess that's a no. Oh, uh, where was I? We were on John. So John's got a monthly check coming in. So, you know, he could be broke for three weeks. I mean, for a week, if he blows through it in three weeks. But I don't think that's going to happen. The town is Palsbo, Washington. Well, hello from Lancaster. Thanks for the 90 day fiance link and to the agency. I already have a call set up for Wednesday this week. We are almost three years in. You're very welcome. I'm very happy with that company, by the way. So, um, I've had nothing but super positive feedback and I have heard nothing but negative. Ugh, I've heard so many negative horror stories from guys, especially using lawyers in America trying to deal with getting their Filipina to the States. Uh, whether you use that company or any other company, it should be based here. Because what this company does is um, they will they're with you the whole way and i mean physically so they'll go with the filipina to the hotel book the hotel stay at the hotel do a mock interview with her and make sure the paperwork is filled out can you do it for free yourself sure um but i've just heard so many horror stories um to me i'd rather just pay the money and have it work right the first time so yeah, you're welcome. And thanks for checking out the link. Well, yeah, I was Googling it. What were you Googling? Love your channel, Paul. I've been watching you since you first started. Well, and I have plans of moving to the Philippines very, very soon. Hey, you know what? I that reminds me. I need to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers recently. Thank you very much. And a lot of love to those guys that have been with me forever and a day. Um, I have made some really, really good friends on YouTube. I would recommend anybody moving out here to start a YouTube channel just for that fact. Um, you meet incredible people. You meet some psychos. <laughs> but that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't get butt implants. Now, what about breast implants? You think men should get breast implants? No, it doesn't. Gives you that windblown look. But if you get the bags, see, I've had three surgeries on my eyes already. Um, and I won't bore you with all the details, but that was uppers, lowers. I had double bags under my eyes. And it was due to a surgery that I had had. And I was taking a certain medication. And a bunch of salt was, I was drinking about 12 Gatorades a day, which I wasn't supposed to do. It's a long story. Just trust me. I had heavy duty bags hanging over my eyes and then did double bags. And they only did, if this required two surgeries, I only did one. So they got the lower bag removed. And then there's just this bag here. And I just don't like the tired look. But it's not like I'm going to facelift or anything. Play that vanity card. Go for it. See? Um, for me, I don't know. Is it vanity? I guess it is. Um, I think it's good to try to look your best. Um, I would love to get veneers. 
my teeth have what's called tetracycline stains. I've never had white teeth. Tetracycline is an antibiotic that they gave me as a kid. And the side effect was that it darkened the interior of your teeth. So just going in for a bleaching or something like that doesn't work. Um, I would have to go in and get full-on veneers. So I would like to have white teeth. I don't think there's uh, anything wrong with that, improving your appearance. I think that guys out here make a big mistake because they don't pay enough attention to their appearance or their hygiene. Um, in fact, that was going to be part of the video that I was going to do. Cosmetic surgery, why would you? Well, <clears throat> I would like to have these bags lifted and just over and done with so I don't look so tired. Um, it's not going to like turn me into Rock Hudson or anything. It's just getting rid of something that annoys me. Don't get a boob job? Okay. Fine. <laughs> Wait, somebody get a paper bag. <laughs> I got great commenters today. <laughs> I'm very, I'm really happy. I'm really happy I did this live stream. <laughs> you just had new respiratory virus going around like here in America. I didn't have respiratory issues. Um, that happens a lot out here. Um, I just had a fever. I had this low grade fever and it sapped all the energy out of me. And, um, I finally realized that I probably had an infection because I had a bunch of crud in my eyes every time I woke up. And that's usually a sign of a, some sort of bacterial disease or, or funk going on. So I have antibiotics handy. Um, we always double up on our prescriptions. And so a couple of days ago, I started popping some amoxicillin. And um, it worked, kicked right in. I just have to remember to do the full script on it. No to surgery there. That would be another concern, is the quality of surgery, excuse me, here in the Philippines. Thailand would probably be a better option. Huh? I could use eye bag job myself, Paul. Why not get it done? Yeah, I mean, if the guy, I, I deserve to meet the guy. He, um, he offered, you know, to make it where it would be at a discount if I just advertised his place on my channel. Um, but I need to meet him. I need to talk to him. What I don't like about cosmetic surgeons is when they do everything. They do boobs. They do butts. They do liposuction. They do faces. They do whatever else is out there. I would prefer to go to a guy that just does faces. That means repetition, 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 repetition. Um, you get into these beauty spas, which gives me pause. They're doing everything. And I think if you're just specializing in one thing, such as reconstruction surgery on the face, or if you're just doing breast augmentations, um, hair transplants, and that's all you do, then I think that's the, the, the safest and the, and the best route to go. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? <clears throat> Hello, old dog. Hello, Ben. Thoughts on Deval. Just got back from seeing my family. they never been to Deval. I heard it's strict. So... I don't like Strix, so I never went there. <laughs> hey, OD, I have a genetic thing with a deep eye sit and a heavy eyelid, so I'm probably getting this taken care of in Thailand. My mom and I, yeah, it's, um, for me, it was not, it was a necessity for me. Um, I had been taking a medication that had caused me, I don't want to get into this whole thing, because I get very constipated and backed up. And I was retaining salt and I was retaining fat. And I was doing the worst thing in the world. I was drinking Gatorades by the millions. And these, it just, my whole eyes just, um, it, it had to be done. It was actually impairing my vision. And so I got two out of three surgeries done. The third one I never did. 
I think I ran out of money at the time. Um, so the good news about this is that it's a really simple procedure. It's not, it's the easiest thing. It's not like having a full facelift where they're, you know, yanking everything back and tucking it in. It's a real simple pull up, cut. So what you got to worry about is infection. So I wouldn't have a problem with this guy doing it. Um, so I don't know. I got to go see the guy. He's at, he's in Europe right now. We had a Skype call. We've been trying to talk to each other for a week and our schedules kept conflicting. So what are we in April? I think he said he's coming back May 4th. So after May 4th, May and I'll have an excuse to go up to Manila and it'll also be a chance for me to go to the U S embassy in Manila. Um, I'm a liaison with them and I've been invited that whenever I'm in town to go take a tour of the embassy. And I would love to do that. So go see my guy up there and Kill two birds with one stone. And Lawman has a Viking warrior in town statue. What are you thinking about you, Paul? I actually had my pants on. <laughs> I used to have a thing that ran across the bottom and said, I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> What's going on, Rich? <laughs> Glad to hear you're feeling better. Thank you very much. Yeah, the eclipse. I wanted to see that eclipse so bad. You don't look right. If you see a neurologist immediately, <laughs> what's wrong? A neurologist? <laughs> For what? <laughs> Can you send one over? What does a neurologist do? <laughs> I'm from Arizona. As I mentioned, I have a few Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, it's totally up to me. I know. I would do it or not do it. Let's see. Did you ask May what she thought about having cosmetic surgery? May's kind of like uh, open minded. So, um, I would, I would, I would probably try to dissuade May from not doing anything. Um, I would let her see what happens to me first, um, and have her talk to the doctor, and then I'd make her watch a video of what they do. And I'm pretty sure that would put her off because I love May just the way she is. I don't think she needs anything. Um, for me, it's just due to a condition. Thank you very much, young man. You are too kind to me. Let's see, 2.30 to 4 a.m. is my usual time. Oh, that's 60 is my age. Yeah, it's the, you know, that's just the time us old farts get up. It's it's weird. Um, and for me, sometimes I can go back to sleep and other times I can't. But like I said, for the last 72 hours, I've been sleeping 18 hours a day. And I've had enough sleep, and I feel better. So I'm really roaring to be awake and go out and bust in the mood again. I want to, I've got some, a meeting with a guy today. Um, see where that leads. And then um, something else to do, but I can't remember what. Don't, uh, yeah, the like button today is free, by the way. Subscriptions are free. People didn't know that, so you can subscribe. Uh, there's no charge. I had a guy tell me one time that I, he couldn't afford to subscribe to my channel. I didn't argue with him. I just said, okay. <laughs> Our age, I tend to avoid any type of surgery necessary. We just don't recover from surgery like we did when we were younger. That's a fact, too. I would think... It, I think I would get the work done. I had a hair transplant years ago and would do it again. Yeah, if it does anything to improve your feeling or your confidence or whatever, um, you know, you go around once. What the hell? If the technology's there, take advantage of it. What you worry about is I'm screwing it up and making you look worse. Like um, like those people that have that windblown look when they get a Facebook uh, facelift or those big 
half lifts that were just like huge. Um, and then there's the people that just go overboard with it. How big I become a dual citizen? I'm married. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I would consult with um, JRC or any other visa service. Dual citizenship. Bud Brown did that. I know that um, well, I'm now a legal resident here. But how to obtain citizenship, I honestly don't know. It's never really been important to me. I know I can come and go as I please. I know I have more rights um, as a resident as opposed to a tourist, but I don't know. I don't know the answer, buddy. Yeah, the gossip thing. I mean, there's a. If you guys want to hear about Mark Thornton or you want to hear about World Zoom, there's no shortage of channels that are talking about it. And they are all saying the same thing, and they're all drawing the same incorrect conclusions. Because I don't mean to sound like I know it all, but I'm here in the middle of it, and I know all the parties involved, and I believe things when I see them, not when I hear them. It's like my torrent title. Remember the pink slip to my house or my land? I believe it when I see it. So I hear a lot of things, but I don't believe it till I see it. And there's a lot being said by a lot of people. And what's the point, man? Anyone knows how much it costs to turn over ownership of two brick houses in Cebu? My LDR, this dad died. It's taken a lot of time and fees. Seems to never end. Um, I don't know that off the top of my head. So what are you trying to do? You turn over ownership? Need a good lawyer. Um, I'll do. What was I going to put a link to? Oh, I was going to put a link to John's video. Put it right this down. I'll forget. God knows. All right, so I'm going to put a link in for John's video, his latest update, and I'm going to put a link in to Veritas. And for good measure, I'll put a link in for the K-1 visa company, just for grins. And it'll take about 20 or 30 minutes for this to process when we're done, and then I can put those links in. So I'll put in for Veritas. Veritas, if you're having issues, Veritas can refer you to a lawyer, um, and they can help you in Cebu. They're based here in Dumaguete, but it's worth a phone call or an email. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Zoom lied to Who's this? Zoom lied to me to my face and then ripped on you and Mike's relationships. I wrote him off at that point. I don't wish him any ill will, but don't care to bump into Oh, so you have one-on-ones with him. See, I've never heard him say anything negative about me personally, but I heard him bash my wife or her channel. And I thought, that's ungentlemanly of you, you know? Um, especially when her out, her channel outperforms his. <laughs> we'll see this speak. But, you know, I just... I, How's the embassy liaison? It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I just sent off two more emails. And uh, uh, one of those jobs that, you know, it's interesting because I'll, I'll, someone will write to me and they'll have an issue. And I'll tell them what to do. We need this, 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 and this. Because I got it memorized by now. And they'll argue with me. I'm like, bro, it's not, it's not going to happen, you know, unless you do this, this, and this. This is what they need to help you. And, okay, so they don't argue with me, but the other misnomer that really gets to me is when they start bitching about the government and how ineffective and inefficient 
and these are the people that they're trying to get to help them. And so they'll write out their problem, and then they'll add, and due to the inefficiency of your office, I think, I don't think this guy's going to go too well, but I forward the email off for him anyway. So here's the dealio. If you have an issue dealing with you're destitute, uh, you're in jail, <laughs> speaking of jail, um, you're hospitalized, you don't have any money, you're having problems with Social Security, you had a lot of problems with Social Security in February, got about five emails on that because of proof of life letter, but you can email me and I'll give you, I'll email you back tell you what you need to put in the body of your email. And um, it's not that complicated. And then I move it off to the embassy for you. And um, they generally get right on it. What's interesting is nobody ever seems to write me back and say thanks, because I'll follow up with them and I'll go, hey, what happened? And they go, oh, I got my problem fit solved. Thank you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Never followed up. Brian in Baltimore. Keep Baltimore in your prayers, our beloved bridges. Oh, yeah, man, that bridge. What a dealio that was, huh? Huh. You'll be out here in five years when you're 62. Countdown has begun. Solar eclipse was brighter than the four years we put up with Biden. <laughs> You can't have duels. Yes, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I thought I thought uh, Bud Brown was a dual citizen. Maybe I'm wrong. Best blogger, Asia, hair and tan, Paul the old dog, your haircuts are the coolest. It's like Steve Garrett in his retirement party. Love the channel. Well, thanks, brother. <laughs> this haircut cost me. Um, how much did this haircut cost me? 60 pesos, but I gave the guy 10 bucks. Good morning, Paul. Skip the surgery. You look fine. Okay. Hi, guys. I have everything about space. I tried to catch everything on the Hubble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember when the Hubble went up and they did it wrong? <laughs> they had to fix it. Recently saw a Facebook video regarding buying property out there as a foreigner. Good. There's some good channels out there. Wilma and Craig um, have a channel about their build experience. Um, there's just so many things that you got to. It's not like America, man. Um, I have a um, non-love affair with so-called real estate agents out here because they work for the seller. There are no real buyers, reps. Um, they get the commission from the sale and they work for the seller. Um, but is what it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, you said hi, Anthony. Hey, Shirley became a YouTube member right on. We've got over 200 members now. And I've been having more fun with my member videos than my regular videos because I just talk about other stuff. And you guys are welcome to you know, throw in suggestions or comments or whatever as to what you'd like me to do. I got how oh, much question from Gary is how much property did I get? I got 1,495 square meters. And we plan to build on about half of that, maybe 500, 600 square meters. And then the back half, we're going to turn into like a cornfield and garden and grow our own vegetables and fruits and all that happy stuff. Torrens title. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, what did I say? Torrent? Yeah. Torrens. Torrens. Thank you for that. You know, that's the kind of criticism I need. It's not criticism. This is help. I love it when people do that. And thank you very much. Um, I need to get corrected so that when I say it, I say it correctly. What did I used to say? Someone corrected me on and I've never, I never screwed up on it again. Look come to me. Thanks for not gossiping on the Duma blogger. You're the last gentleman around. Well, you know what? What good does it do, man? What good does it do? And there's 
plenty of it out there. If you want to hear about it, that's your thing. Go listen to all these so-called experts that, A, don't live here. B, don't know these people personally. They don't know Mark any more than they've met me. Uh, and yet they're talking about it. Or World Zoom. I know World Zoom. He's been on my channel. I've had coffee with him. Um, they haven't. That's my point. So what perspective are they coming from? They're coming from information that they're getting from people. And none of it's backed up with anything. There's no written proof. When's the last time you saw Mark Thornton? You guys never mention each other anymore. Um, I saw Mark Thornton about a month ago, a month and a half ago. I was invited to a house warming, and he was there. And so we said hello to one another, and that was the last time I saw him. We used to hang out during the pandemic because we had no one else to talk to. <laughs> People were leaving left and right and couldn't get back into the Philippines. There was big attrition during the pandemic. And so I helped Tim start a channel. And then he would always want to get together and do videos. And I usually obliged with him. Um, but what happened with a lot of it was the crowd that he hangs out with are not my kind of people. I'll just put it that way. And so he would invite me over to his place. I go, well, who's coming? And he would say, well, this person, this person, and this person. And I'd say, no, I'll pass. It wasn't against Mark. It was against the fact that I, I knew the people he was having over there. And I had no respect for him. So that's how that worked. I have no idea what that means, but I'll take it as a good thing. Mike just did a live about Paul. He says that immigration put out a statement about the arrest. Yeah, um, there was a statement put out by immigration, and all you had to do was read the statement to know what was going on. Mark Thornton seems to get a fight with everybody in Duma. I would disagree with that. Um, but again, I don't want to get into it. Well, if I was in the same hand as convicted felon, he won't be welcome, deported, not complicated. Yeah, I'm confused as to um, how the hell he got in the country to begin with, how he got a passport. I didn't know. See, I don't know. I've never been a felon, Doug, on it. <laughs> so I don't really know about this stuff. I've just been one of these boring ass guys that went to work, you know, paid my taxes. Took the kids to school and then retired on Social Security. That's kind of like the long and the short of my life. Um, so I don't know all these, these things. Um, if you're a felon, I thought maybe I'm wrong that you couldn't get a passport or you couldn't vote. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But how he got, if he's a felon and he got convicted, Maybe there's a period of time that they say, okay, you know, you, you paid your debt to society. Here you go. You can vote now. And here's your passport. I don't know. But you would think, I would think, that coming in would red flag him on the way in, not on a renewal. But on the renewal, they had to go, now that I'm thinking out loud, he had to do the fingerprints. That would have been it. The fingerprints would have brought him up. Anyway, just getting here. Well, welcome to the team. Well, hi, Renee. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Good beginning from UK 11 days ago. Maybe see you around. I'm bringing my wife back home to the UK this time. Cool. It's a surprise. She thinks I cannot afford the ticket. <laughs> Yeah, it will see you. Con men are always personal. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's that's a fact. You know, and what I always wondered was um, they are very 
intelligent. This guy that we're talking about, very intelligent, very personable, you know, physically fit, um, just hits all the numbers. And you think, man, if this guy just did things legit, he'd make a million dollars. He wouldn't have to steal it. But there's that thing a guy told me years ago that some people are born with a criminal mind. And I think he just admits that he can't help himself. He just is a liar and um, can't tell the truth to save his life. I don't know what brings that out from people. How great to see you, Paul. And thanks for growing up and doing a good life. Glad you're feeling better. Thanks much, David. Got to go. Good to see you. Thank you, sir, for stopping in. Yeah, the drama. Here's the deal. I disagree totally with that handle drama, Getty. I think it's bullshit. Sorry, pardon my French. Um, just not. It's just not. It's this. It it sounds catchy, and I guess drama Getty was was actually a buzzword by the locals a long time ago. Kids made it up, and now adult kids are using it to get clicks on their videos. Um, I'll never use it in a title. I'll never talk about it. I'll never do a video about it. You know why? Because it's non-existent. There's not any freaking drama here. Let me just go on record. It, it just isn't. There's a bar fight here and there. There's a couple of guys doing this. There's a guy getting deported. Aren't there bigger and better things going on all over the world right now than that? I mean, if that's making the news here, the fact that some guys got into a fight or the fact that some guy got deported, that's making the news. Where's the drama? Old dog is the man. The old dog is the old man. <laughs> yeah, no eclipse in Vegas, huh? And Vegas has gotten stupid expensive, too. Can't go home, brother. How are the two kids still sleeping? Or let you have your bed. One is sleeping over there, and the other one went in with mommy. So yeah, the little guys are doing fine. Mark still gets plenty to interview. You guys are the problem. Okay. Help this young man's algorithm by giving a thumbs up. Yeah, we'll take a thumbs up. Thank you very much. That's all we ever ask for here on the uh, live streams. The like button. We don't want anybody to get injured, though. So you know the drill. If you've been with me for a while, you know to hydrate, bend at the hips, and then hit the like button. We don't want any injuries. I didn't see anything regarding the eclipse today in South Florida. Mm. Hi, Paul. Big fan. Since it's tax time here in the States, maybe a future vlog you explain how an expert can navigate those waters. And I actually did that already. I have a video up. Um, how do I do my taxes? I think it's about seven or eight videos. If you go on my playlist, um, Life in the Philippines, you can just scroll up, buddy. It's there. Um, how I did my taxes or how I do my taxes. Your response to Mark Thornton's question proves you're a class act and why many of us here have been long-time loyal subscribers. You are the best ball. More power. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. There's no reason to get into the weeds. People can implode themselves. They don't need my help. <laughs> Northeast Indiana almost got 100%. Used the welder's helmet trick too about 15 years ago. It worked great. I love that video, the welder's helmet. Watch it in the clips. <laughs> yeah 58 and only dream of living a simple life i got news for you it is simple it really is um it's like mayberry to me it's just peaceful it's quiet do we have occasional interruptions yes do we have brownouts yes do we have shortages yes but it's just something you roll with um, there are certain personalities that should not move here or because it'll drive them crazy. There are certain personalities that are living here right now that need to leave. <laughs> and I'm talking about these everyday Joes. It's just too much for them. 
their personalities are too too quick tempered. Um, they think they need to come in and fix everything that's wrong. And um, you know what? I have an old catchphrase. I didn't come here to fix the Philippines. I came here for the Philippines to fix me. And I really feel like that ninety percent of that job has been accomplished. I do feel like I've been fixed since I've been here. A lot of things have changed, and a lot of things have remained the same. Hello from St. George. I think you're one of my buddies said he used to live here and own the skating rink. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? <laughs> Only one Filipina in World War II received the Silver Cross. She worked as a spy. I didn't know that. Is that true? Good morning. Glad. Yeah, man, that fever broke. It's a. Uh, a nice feeling like you came back to life i watched the eclipse through a mug of a guinness dark <laughs> check with the board of medicine oh okay i'm gonna write that down board of medicine Let's see always have smart people board of medicine Okay. Do, do you agree with me that it's hard to look up, like, how, you know, you can read reviews, but can't they delete reviews? Uh, lawyer, I'm not talking about just doctors. I'm talking about lawyers, any of the top professionals. It's really hard to research. They may have graduated from ABC University, but you don't know if they were at the bottom of the class or the top of the class. Um, maybe there's a way to find it, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess the best thing to do is to try to find as many people that have used them. Same way I'm looking for a builder. I'm going out and talking to people building houses. They've all used different contractors, and they've all got their opinion of the guy. And so the beautiful thing is, is May and I have time. So we're going to go out and talk to people that have used one builder. Well, let's just say we settle on a builder. Well, before we really settle, settle on a builder, I'm going to want to talk to five people that have used him and see how they feel about it. You can always get the one guy that's happy. You can always get the one guy, oh, I used the wrong finger. You can always get the wrong guy that's disgruntled with the builder and not get a clear picture. So to me, it's all about volume. I'd like to talk to five people, ten people, if I could, uh, whoever used this guy, um, and are they happy? And I know of some, some major clusters of, that people have done out here and mistakes that could have so easily been avoided. And they would make great videos, but I'm not going to do them because... The people that I'm talking about will know I'm talking about them. <laughs> and I'm not here to, to, you know, disparage anybody or make them feel bad because they made a mistake. There, but for the grace of God, do I. Hey, Nizzle. You snizzle, you're Nizzle, Nizzle. I understand why you moved to the Philippines to live a content life with no drama. You've done that. Stay happy. There's my friend, Linda. How are you, girl? I finally got to see a live stream. Thanks for the live stream today. My pleasure. Smash the like button. I don't know. Don't hurt yourself. You can just hit it. After you mentioned Mark T, watch the CCTV of the incident. Ah. Interesting watch. Another dog is flipping out. Good evening, Paul. Can you confirm that you have a young child in our retired regime, the child in the Philippines? Receives a check. Can you confirm? Oh, that if you have a young child and are retired, receiving so the child in the Philippines, yes, I can confirm that. There's plenty of paperwork to do. Um, let's see. I know. Well, my friend Monty just got that handled. He's got a child, and he just went. And we have the. Um, 
portfolio with the embassy over at Ground Zero a few months ago. Monty did this mound of paperwork, took it in, they processed it. Faith, his daughter, just got a passport. And the embassy, when they were here, added about 55 United States citizens that day. We're Filipinos, babies, kids, little guys, and girls, and are now citizens of America. So, job well done. So, yeah, and Monty's going to get a big bump in his Social Security check, and um, I believe upon his demise that his... Oh, hold on a second. We must have an invader. What's going on out there, Will you close the door, honey? Thank you. <laughs> Who needs an alarm when you got two shitsus? <laughs> so yeah, you can you can get squirt away. Hi, baby man. People are saying hi to you. Good morning, Todd. Enjoyed the eclipse, man. Quite cool. The rooster, the rooster's over there. I don't have a place to put the rooster. So we're going to be making some changes here on the channel coming up the next month or two. But I'll just keep those under my little app until then. Travel to Association of Southeast Asian Nations Countries is visa-free citizenship of its member nations. Yes, sir. Hello from Cleveland, Ohio, where we did that. And morning from Guam. Let's see, they can make sure they don't receive either unless the kids born to old coops overseas collect survivor benefits their whole life. They can help they can help make sure Americans don't receive social security. They paid in their whole lives. Well, I would disagree with you on that there. I'm 39. Your audience is young. I didn't know I had such a young audience. Hello from, why would a young audience watch me? Hello from Western Supermar. Supermar. Los Angeles is in the house. I'm curious, what's your favorite Asian country? Have you had a chance to visit Japan? I have not seen Japan. And that is one of my dreams in life is to go to Japan. Um, ever since I discovered sushi, <laughs> I wanted to go to Japan. I would love to go there. It's just so expensive. So I don't know if I can pull it off. My Filipino fiance is going through the process now, just waiting on the interviews. All right. Here she is. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and join us later if you want. Yeah. We'll be up for another half hour or so. I just found the channel. Are you talking about my channel? And there's a big no about something. We got some uh, high fives, I think. Not on the implants list, she really wants him after thinking about it for a long time. Yeah, I agree. She doesn't need them. It's just a vanity thing. I used a K-1 visa service in the Philippines and 100% recommended use one. Our appointment at the embassy was a total of five minutes. They never asked me a question, just a few to my wife. That's my point, is I think the big issues that guys have and the trouble they get into, because I've heard it firsthand. When I was in Vegas or when I was in America a couple of years ago, I had lunch with two or three guys, and they just had horror stories about expense over expense over expense and got no results because they were using an American-based attorney that's, you know, an immigration attorney. Better off using one here. They understand the culture. They understand the language, and they understand little finite things that a few dollars can do. 
to help you through the process, if you know what I mean. What's the name of HCC? I'm going to put a link in the description. It is Filipino Visa. Can you leave that link again? I gave up the 13. Uh, yes, I will. I am going to put a link in for the K-1 visa. I'll put it on top. And if there's comments, there'll be comments. What I'll do is I'll pin it to the top as a top comment and make it easy for you guys to find. Um, some people have said they're expensive, but I think that you get what you pay for. And uh, if you want it done right, you're going to get it done right the first time because you can spend less money and not have it happen. So these guys, I do put my faith and trust in. No to implants. They are hard and yucky. Yeah, I dated, um, my ex-wife had implants. And they were good at first, but then they got weird. A quick Google search of their new, new changes in the U.S. So I'm not sure what changes we're talking about, boss. Hair dye? Nah. That's not accurate on Asian, such as other Asian countries, individual that doesn't actually have their own guidelines. Get rid of the mirrors. Yeah, that would be the best thing to do. Just take all the mirrors in the house down. <laughs> yeah, Rob, <that's> <laughs> There's good old Barry from Panorama. Thanks. Barry's in every, every live stream. Appreciate you. <laughs> Your eyes look fine. Have you seen Ted Nugent lately? <laughs> Who was it? Gary Busey, I saw. <laughs> Have you checked out Gary Busey lately? <laughs> Do the cosmetic if you're entering the beauty pageant. Okay. Hey, I'm just doing it because the guy offered. You know, he's like, hey, I'll give you a discount or do it for free if you promote my, my place. I said, well, I'm good to check it out. I like free. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know you did live. Yeah, I only do it once a month. Probably look fine. No need for any surgery. You keep yourself in shape and shit good. Unless Baby May is complaining, but I doubt it. No, Baby May, you ever complain about how I look? No. She always lies to me and tells me I look good. Oh, she's watching my live stream from her phone. Instead of joining, she's over there. <laughs> Why don't you take over for a little while, man? Come on, talk for a while. Let me go take your potty break. Come on. Want to change your clothes? Okay. Uh oh, good enough. Speaking of breast implants, she doesn't have a bra. On. Hello, hello. How much for a ponytail facelift? <laughs> hey, should I grow a ponytail? What do you think? Go back to that 80s Steven Seagal look. My first wife, I'm so excited. Hello, lovelies. Should single ladies move to the Philippines to find love? That is a great question, my dear. Wendy, Oops, I hit my microphone. Hope I didn't break it. I cannot for the life of me understand why more women don't give the Philippines a shot. I have seen women of all shapes and sizes, all ages come over here and have as much, if not more fun than the men. You know how many single Filipino guys there are over here? Talk about an age gap. They would be thrilled to be with you, and they are. And I've seen success stories. Um, you know, about a month ago, I thought about doing a video about that. It completely spaced. Go figure, right? Now you just reminded me. I'm going to do a video about ladies have the ladies to start moving over here to the philippines too or well, not move but check it out um most of the females that i see are backpackers and so they don't count <laughs> and i'm talking about people that are disgruntled with the dating scene just like men are um maybe they want a younger guy that's more fit maybe it's just the opportunity in reverse. 
And I really think that uh, women should give themselves that opportunity. As long as you're cool, you gotta be cool. You can't be one of those Karens. Good morning. Jack of all trades, master of none. I'll take the master of uh, one trade. I wish I was a master of a trade. Thailand for penile implants, right? <laughs> you say so, Chief. <laughs> right now, the TRT does just fine. Anthony, you won't regain your use with your eye back up. Check this out. We got a member. All right. Welcome to the 99 Cent Store. Finally got you live again. Thank you, brother. Thanks for stopping in. Don't normally catch you live. Yeah, because we don't go live very much. Once a month is our limit. Last week, I went to get an eye job estimate here in Angel City. It was 35K. I, too, have bags and tetracycline teeth. So you and I got the same situation. We both need the teeth would probably be the priority. Because I've always wanted to have a white smile. What's wrong with that? more attractive um and the bags 35k huh that's about 700 bucks wonder what that would cost in the state are you talking about thirty-five thousand pesos and you're in angeles city so i'm going to figure that's the pesos wonder what doctor you were doing do the surgery i'd like to see if the guy is any good he can get a root canal too <laughs> i've had a root canal and May went to our dentist. What yesterday, baby? She can't hear me. She got braces. So every month they trade out the braces or they put new things in there. And May said, Hey, you want me to vlog this place when you're done with my vases, my braces? And the doctor said, No, Paul's already done enough damage. I'm full up. <laughs> we have a great dentist. And I'll throw her under the bus. She's right across the street from from uh, immigration and Garupa is her name. And she's complaining she's got too much business. Google says no warrants outstanding. On what? On who? Otto? A wise man told me that if you don't know the difference between a burrow and a burrow, you don't know your arse from a hole in the ground. Wise words never spoken. Enjoy your channel. Thank you very much. I enjoy doing it. Hold on. What does baby may think about you having cosmetic surgery and looking younger and more attractive to other women in the Philippines? She might need to follow. She has no problems with that. There's no women fighting for me. Trust me. May's got that covered. <laughs> we did these Filipino visa for 22 months, but she finally got here last week. Those guys are spot on and they help with everything. Thank you very much for the endorsement. That's what I've been hearing. And I would never, ever refer or send anybody anywhere for anything um, if I didn't believe in it. It's the same thing with the Veritas group. Um, I just refer him because he does a good job. And I refer to these people because they do a good job. Um, Anybody else I've referred? I try to stay away from it. I really do. But because whenever you refer somebody, you're always the middleman. And all you need is one problem. All of a sudden, it's your problem. So I have to know people. I like to vet them for uh, I recommend them. And so I get offers all the time for people, companies, for socks, for shoes, for earbuds for translations translators you know vocal translators i could have a virtual store in my description box and i just shine them on because i'm not interested even um a version of what's it called not skynet um uh, i'm sorry my brain's not working i bottom line is 95 percent of them i turn them down I just don't want to get involved because I don't use their products. I don't know them personally. Uh, Veritas, I know. Philippine Visa, I know. 
So I'm confident with them. I can pick up the phone and talk to them and say, hey, we've got an issue. Let's get this squared away. Yeah, we're talking about the cosmetic surgery. <laughs> Tune in a little late. I didn't know you had a relationship with him. But not... Not but thin snow. Oh, let's see. I'm reading that wrong. Tune in a little late. I didn't. I don't know if you have a relationship with him or not. But thin, I do not have a relationship with thin snow. No. Uh, met him once a long time ago. Serious question. The first time I used a bum gun, I have lots of questions. Like sit or squat, squirt under the balls to the back, side to the other. I'll dry your ass. PM me. How's that? <laughs> well, we still need to go to the hair club for men. Plastic surgery. Just don't go to the Ken, the Ken and Barbie look. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to look into dental implants. I hear the cops are more reasonable. Well, I'll tell you one thing, kids. Um, cosmetic surgery. And the cost of all that stuff um, is up in the air. But dental is dirt cheap. And it's dirt cheap in Vietnam. It really is. Cheaper, I think, in Vietnam. I don't know about the quality of the work. But when I was in Vietnam, I got my teeth cleaned. I get my teeth cleaned every three months because I smoke. Um, it's 10 bucks, And it was state-of-the-art. In, in Vietnam. Out here, it's 30 bucks for me to get my teeth cleaned from Garupa, but she's the best in town. And she's got state of the art equipment and may trust her. And for me to trust somebody, it takes a lot. <laughs> hey, I think May's going to give me a break. Here, you sit here. And you're right, JRC is a friend and trusted friend and i would recommend jrc also if you have questions about your visa or you want to get an ssrv or any other thing and he will just talk to you so him and i are pals we go out to lunch every now and then but i don't believe in putting all my eggs in one basket i think that there needs to be options and so, um, again, no coin has ever changed hands with any of these people. JRC and I, he bought me lunch, and that's the extent of it. But I promoted him because I've been using JRC since day one. Yeah. Since we discovered them. And we love them. I mean, they fill out the forms. We pay an extra thousand pesos, I think, instead of going into immigration. And you get what you pay for. I've been saying it over and over and over again. Um, and for me, I don't want to fill out the forms. I don't want to play. When we went to Cebu for my probationary visa, yeah. we had a lady meet us there. Yes. And I mean, it took 15 minutes. We went, we were lost. We, we were there, but we didn't know where to go. She came and found us. She had, actually had me sign another piece of paper that they forgot. But she had that, so it wasn't screwed up. She went and talked to somebody somewhere, and they have an arrangement. And then May and I, and you didn't even go. Yeah. You were just sitting there. I thought yeah. she had to she had to prove something. And I went up, and they did my fingerprints for the 14th time. And then um, I signed something, and they said, okay, cool. You're good to go. And then we went and hang out, hang out at A.L. Mall for the rest of the day. And when... Uh, we go back, we have to go back, and she does have to be with me for the second time because we have to be interviewed. And so I'm on a probationary visa on my 13A, and I have to go back, do the fingerprints, make sure I'm not a felon. And then she and I, we have to prove that our marriage wasn't a sham, that we're actually a couple. And we still have pictures. They're going to ask her two or three questions and me two or three questions and proof we're done. Can we go back to talking about the rock blood piles? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it's much more interesting than this. You're right. <laughs> so I was talking to him about surgery on the house. Yes. And you said breast part. <laughs> right? Yes. So why don't you talk to him about that? I'll be back in five minutes. We'll, we'll go up for a potty break. Well, we'll about that. Huh? Or don't talk about it. Do you think it's a good idea to get my eyes yes, on? Yes, it's good. What about your boobs? You want bigger boobs? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yes. We'll sit there and like explain, explain it to the people. Hey, you know, I'm talking about her English, but it's a lot better than it really is. Good morning. Just say hi. Hi. Or Hyundai 62 people for watching. That is all. No. I'm not good in that in for none. Five minutes. Yes. Steve. Steve, I got some work done here in Davao. Skin reduction with the screen with clothes. I'm not seeing name, but really with the with guys david austin wow your life hope you and me and doing well thank you david austin <laughs> sorry me sorry so What's the meaning that if I buy buy a bike and doesn't like it, uh, is it is it even down? Doesn't like it is easy enough to sell before getting another. Um, I think that the poor poor answered that the question. I'm just only for reading the comment. John Robert, he fall. How are you doing? Doing good. BG good. I watching him when he was back home. And he he do you and Mike and baby me, baby me but did not use name but close enough for horse choose two hundred thirty nine for watching David C look like you got a letter sunburn on your face almost matches the color of your drink in the background i think that they call it because of the light that's why it's like how like have look uh look how sunburn Tony W. Sanchez, thank you for from all of us. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you love your uh, yeah. watching people. Now it's 418. Oh, what are those people? <laughs> You're fine. All right. We'll just blow through this. Yeah. Spain's here. Another blogger became a citizen by coming. Yeah, yeah. The guy uh becoming Filipino. He was a good ambassador. Yeah, she's right here. <laughs> we're, we're behind in comments. <laughs> you can't have dual citizenship. I think you can't. Sorry to see the bud, bro. Oh yeah, I chatted with Bud the other day, and uh, <sighs> I do miss Bud Brown. I'll leave it at that. 
Where are you buying it at, Paul? Are you talking about the property we bought out in Dallas? The eclipse was great. Do you ever have high blood pressure from all the salt and food? Um, I'm very particular about the food that I eat. We buy a lot of steak. Steak and the, I think we did a, a little salad, vegetable mm -hmm. salad. Mm -hmm. It's good for diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she makes me a bed of lettuce with some chicken in it chicken. and some cheese and sticks with the keto program and keeps the weight off so we make a lot of steak broccoli um i stay away from salt just on account of because a little bit's fine but uh as long as you don't overdo it hey you'll be back all right then here, let me just show you online right now. This afternoon, I was watching all the action of people across the North America watching the eclipse. It was fun to see. I would love to have seen that, man. Um, yeah, we've all got to watch our health. A lot of stress. I don't know. Does salt impact your blood pressure? I don't know. I think stress is the biggest killer. I failed to hydrate and lift my knees and just broke my finger hitting the like button. Help me, Paul, please. <laughs> that was my biggest fear would have an injury if somebody hit the like button. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Paul, big or small? Um, are we talking about May? <laughs> <laughs> I hear those back in the little taco meat now. <laughs> Instead of silicone, they're putting taco meat in there. Makes it really nice. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Balloon inside in the. No, it's actually it's nickels. <laughs> Slight taste of brains. See the jingle when you walk. <laughs> it's really nice, heavy breast. <laughs> Yeah, the lockdowns turn many lines upside down. If you, if Boy, don't get me started on it. If you're swipe, it's like story. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. There you go. A lot of these questions, you know. <laughs> I get questions from people and they ask me and I'm like, do you not know where the Google button is? <laughs> so they're asking me these questions that I have no clue about. <laughs> Felons can both get a passport and vote. I, see, that's what I didn't know. I could have Googled that, I guess, right? But it never came across my radar till now. Um, like I said, I've led a very boring life. I just went to work, went home. And uh, rinse, repeat, and did it again. You're uh, the only ones that can't is for drugs. Um, according to this, it depends on the state. So there you have it. I guess everybody needs to hit the Google button, including myself, once this is over. Let's see. Hey, my buddy found out that the hard way about being on the blacklist. He swears he doesn't know why, but they turned him around and sent him home. His girlfriend was bombed. I don't know about that, but that would not be fun. Bigger the better. What do you think? I think um, I think none at all, to tell you the truth. I'm very happy with Debbie May. I think she's gorgeous just the way she is. But it makes her feel better. She's a grown woman. She's 38 years old. Yes, and you know, She's becoming a senior citizen. So if she wants, uh, she wants... Happy to have Welcome to my team, senior citizen. <laughs> 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 These are conversations that we have all day long. Never ends. Helen's can't buy own or guns. Oh, there you go. I can believe that. I'm a felon, but I got my passport. It depends on whether it's a violent crime. Yeah. Yeah. Felonies are, um, 
Yeah, there's different kinds, right? There's there's assaults and there's rapes and there's murders and then you've got what they call light color crime, where you might have embezzled or something. Maybe that's why what's his name got through okay. The white color no violence. When they start fingerprints for renewals. I I've been fingerprinted more times than I can imagine over here. Every time I went for an exit clearance or um, to for a renewal, forget it was usually exit clearances that I had to get fingerprinted. And then for the 13A, I got fingerprinted like six times. And I don't know, I've been fingerprinted probably 30 times since I've lived here. The law says that as long as it's not for drug offense, you can get in the Philippines. People make mistakes in their life, don't be judgmental. I agree. Everybody's entitled to screw up. Everybody is entitled to make a mistake. Everybody's entitled to have one of those moments. I've had them. I've had them. I've made horrible decisions um, that I regret. And with it, now I never got arrested for them. <laughs> I never went to jail for them. But yeah, you can't judge anybody by one wrong act. Uh, <laughs> but I got a rack of double D's. <laughs> It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see what happens. They've all been watching for years. Finally made it here to Cebu City. Cool, man. You're a member and a sub. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. If you're a film the president has to pardon you, Jimmy Carter pardon you, Jr., John Soar, Pauline Moon, John Johnson. For all in moonshine. That's right, you can't get a pardon now. Sounds like any other town to me. Are we talking about Dumaguete? Yeah. Normal little town. Stealing from a hospital as a kid is not cool, a special place. And they're all waiting for you. Okay. Vegas just eclipsed my bankroll. <laughs> then they've done that. I had my moment one time. I lost my entire paycheck one time. Um, when I first got to town, what a deal. Are you still physically able to be like when you all get your property and make gardens, etc.? Um, I am physically able to do that kind of stuff. What gets to me is the sun, um, the heat. I got to be very careful out in the sun that um, I get dehydrated quick and that can you know, it causes you to get dizzy and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I like manual labor. I like working out in the yard and doing stuff. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm growing adami right now, soybeans, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got a major plantation going on in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> I just chewed her a new one because she watered it. I said, no! <laughs> Kind of making your hands in all my little projects. <laughs> you go to the PI or a guest in their country, don't be suspecting them, don't be a jerk. That's the biggest problem, I think, is uh, guys being loud and rude to the staff and uh, trying to reinvent the wheel and fix things that are broke. Um, where did we go? Oh, we went yesterday. I needed to send 7,000 pesos to a guy, yes. right, on Gcash yes. for a service on my TV. And I had to receive a text. When I sent that large amount of money, it's 120 bucks, I think, 40 bucks, um, it was going to give me a text. My text, if you can believe this, doesn't work here at home. We don't have a cell tower, so we have to drive into Valencia yes. for me to be able to get a signal. Therefore, I couldn't complete the transaction until I got down to Valencia. So there's a little coffee shop there, and it has a car wash. And so my MO is whenever I go in there, we take the car, and it's real cheap. It's 200 pesos. They do it real quick. Quick, easy job. They just wash it off in the front, 
I mean, in, in the uh, exterior wash, no wax, no special deal. And they vacuum it out. Yeah. And it's fine, it's clean. Yeah. And the cars get dirty out there fast, especially the windshield, because of all the crap in the air. And then I went into the coffee shop and I ordered a latte. And there was three women behind the counter. And so May and I were there shooting the shit. And um, the guy said, okay, your car's done. Which way do you want me to park it? You want me to park it up the hill or down the hill? I said, up the hill. And then I looked at May and I said, where's my coffee? <laughs> and so I had ordered a coffee. And they said, okay. And didn't understand me. Because May says it's the way I talk. But I don't know. I thought hot latte was fairly clear. And I never got it. So I said, just give me one to go. In other words, I didn't get mad. I didn't get angry. I knew that it's just part of the drill out here. It's an example. Get my car washed. Order a coffee while we're waiting. I still didn't feel good. All I wanted to do was go home. Um, but I also wanted a friggin' latte because I hadn't been out of the house in three days. So when they didn't get my order or they didn't understand it, we didn't get pissed off. We just said, okay, will you make me one now and make it to go? Yes, sir. Then she talked to him and got the message through. And we moved on. I know guys that will stand up and raise holy hell because they didn't get their coffee. Those folks need to go home. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's just, you need to go with the flow out here, man. It's a different vibe. And um, I don't know. Just be stoic. Hope all is well. I've been trying to reach you. What's the best way? Email. Email is the best way, bro. Or Messenger, Facebook Messenger. If we're friends on Facebook, just send me a message on Messenger. My house in PA should have been under the eclipse, but I missed it. Guess I'll see the next one in 100 years. Yeah, I'll join you. Give me a call. We'll come by in 100 years and we'll both watch it. I am up early. I got up at 2.30 this morning. It's now 7.15. 7.15. How is baby man? Baby man, how are you? I'm good. All I'm right. late for wake up. Yeah, she's late for wake up. I'm not late on comments. <laughs> yeah, I'm stretching. That's right. Do a lot of stretching before you hit the like button. We don't want any more injuries. Morgan Powerball was won by one winner drawing just Saturday. Tell him to call me. I got some uh, land I want to sell. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> We're doing great. Paul, you did a video on expat retirement community in townhomes. Is that still happening? No, it's not. Um, it's on hold. Put it to you that way. Uh, Chris, the gentleman that is developing that had a major issue that he had to deal with unforeseen in the states so the good news is uh we did a video about this place and chris was smart he did not accept any money from anybody people were wanting to buy into it and of course other people we were going to do a video addressing concerns that people had about it um and he had the torn titles that he'd been working on for like 13 years, putting this thing together. <sighs> and we went out there a couple, three times. We did some videos. We did some videos with Chris. Chris came on, talked about it, the, the community. Uh, the community is still there. But as far as the development going forward, I don't know. Um, the good news is, Nobody got damaged. Nobody sent me money. Nobody bought anything. Nobody signed anything. Chris refused to do that. He's a stand-up guy. Because um, he said he wanted to make sure that he had a few other things in place. So it's a phenomenal idea. Um, I hope he'll be able to straighten out the personal issue that he's having in America. But it's personal and it's private. So we'll keep it that way. God bless him. Let's see, it is also really annoying when people call Dumaget call it Dramageti 
That place changed my life for all the right reasons. I spent as much time there as possible. And there's never any freaking drama here. I agree with you a thousand percent. There is no trauma unless you create it for yourself. Are there guys that get drunk and get into bar fights every night? And you never hear about them because they're not on YouTube. They're not, you know, they don't have a social outlet like we do or I do. Um, where if I got into a fight, that might make the news, or Baby May got into it, something to that effect, or even hit the YouTube channel. So um, there's more violence, there's more drama in it. In Las Vegas, I'll use my old hometown, than they'll ever be here. We do not have any nightclubs. We don't. We have one nightclub, the Why Not, the disco. We don't have any strip clubs. We don't have any go-go dancers. We don't have any walking streets. We don't have any, um, there's no brothels. There's no whippy-dippy massage parlors. There's none of that stuff. It's just a family oriented town. And if you go out on the boulevard at night, what are you going to see? You're going to see a lot of young people doing calisthenics. They're going to be doing Zumba. They're going to do a bit of TikTok dancing. They're going to be eating food, uh, playing volleyball. It's like the 4th of July, man. Um, it's just not happening. Are there a few expats that create some crap? Yes. There's probably some guys, maybe your next door neighbor, that you don't get along with. Same thing. So thank you for the comment because it's true. It gets overblown. It's clickbait. It's just all that kind of stuff. Congrats on 92. Yeah, I guess we got to 92. We were hovering around there. When we get to 100, we're going to uh, re rethink things. <laughs> Maybe that's when I'll stop and start another channel just to see if I can do it all over again. Um, but I do want to do the book thing. I think at 100, we will, um, by that time, I'll know what I want to do with the channel. I may dial it back um, to once or twice a month and focus on something else. But um, again, thanks for everybody that subscribes. All you got to do is watch the videos and we'll all be happy. <laughs> hello, Paul from north of Seattle, Washington. Well, hello to you. It's been a while, Henry. Yes, we only do one live stream a month. So this is it, kids. I'm going to the Philippines, the only place that I can retire comfortably. Well, there are other options. Um, I've been to a number of them, and I just prefer the Philippines. Thailand's good, but they keep getting wonky over there as far as their requirements, their visas, insurance requirements, taxes. Um, but, you know, do your, do your due diligence. Yes, I am alive. <laughs> hey, the other channel, Mark gives you props often. You're smart about drama. Stay cool. Yeah, I uh, stay away from all of that stuff. My wife is from the Philippines, from Cebu, and will be married 20 years next month. God bless you. We have been married one year. No longer reading from subs? What does that mean? Subscriber. Mm -hmm. Oh, I try. I think that comes with age, my friend. Why well, we have some sinus crap here, but no temperature. You stay in here? Yeah. Now, there's a lot of afflictions that people have out here. Um, I've said it a hundred times. I'll say it again. There's a lot of, if you're new here, especially. There's a lot of different foliage, there's a lot of different grasses, a lot of different trees and plants and pollens get into you and they're just, you're not immune to them. You know, you have to adjust to them. So I get sinus all the time, my nose runs. Yes. I, sne I have sneeze attacks to this day. I have these like six or seven out, I mean seven, six or seven sneezes loud and hard every night. Um, we get behind diesel trucks 
and and strikes that we blow smoke yeah. in our face. Ooh, it's and then you come home with a cough, and that's how the car gets so gritty and dirty, and you get gritty and dirty. So, um, getting sick over here is a pretty common occurrence. The beauty of it is, what I was thinking about it was. It prompted me to spend 7,000 pesos to buy a new TV service other than Netflix. So I canceled Netflix, and I bought this other service because it gets everything. And when you're sick, what is there to do? I mentioned last night, when she saw me, I tried to do a video. Yes. And I just gave up. I was just, like, not feeling it. And I would get started, and then my mind would wander. And I had something I really, really wanted to talk about. I'll end up doing it one of these days, probably today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll do the video. And then you and I were going to do a video together. Yes. And you were sleepy. Yeah. Because you've been taking care of me. Yes. And she's been worried about me, so she doesn't sleep. And she comes out every hour and checks my head. And um, good little wife that she is. And um, where was I going with all this? Um. The beauty is I'm retired, and it just didn't matter. So I got the pleasure, the luxury of just staying home. And I got to stay home with my wife and my doggies. And it's just a fun, happy environment. And they dotes on me and make sure I take medicine. If I eat food, she gets the food. Um, water she's always harping on me to take a pill <laughs> the dogs are always loving on you yeah and so baby you know it's, my dogs love to lick me and they love my feet for some reason and so it's just kind of stress-free you talk about blood pressure i was sick i didn't feel good um I just canceled appointments with people. I felt bad because they wanted to meet up for coffee. I said, yeah, I would. But then I had to call them back and say, no, I'm not. So I don't feel good. Um, I was going to do this. I was going to do that. But, you know, tomorrow's another day. So, uh, but the TV program I bought because I said, you know what? I want to have this again. And I need something to entertain me. Um, if I don't feel like doing anything more than just laying on the couch, um, I can only look at my phone for so long. A, B, C, or D. I think a nice C cup would be nice on the day. What do you think? C cup. Yeah, C cup. As far as yeah, you do Yeah, because I'm 32A. You're Sorry. 32A? Yes. Okay, so May's a 32A. So maybe a B? I don't know. Like I said, they're filling them with taco meat and nickels. Now. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you make? On a live chat like this i have a small youtube account um if somebody will super chat the, the deal i think we've made five or six dollars on this chat but uh, youtube is picked the uh, right yeah youtube takes the papers over that <laughs> so not much uh we make a couple three dollars um on this chat to answer your question um if we run it it'll get what's called adsense and that'll add up to another 10 or 15 dollars so the live chat's not a money maker <clears throat> there's not a lot of donations or super chats and stuff like that that um, some people get big money we don't we never ask for it um we don't run a little thing on the bottom saying buy me a coffee or any of that kind of stuff um we do live chats to connect with you and talk to you and thank you uh, just for being subscribers or members or friends, you know, that's it. We do it so we have some interaction with you. If somebody's got a question, we are able to answer it. Um, 92,000 people is a lot to handle at one time, but we've got 441 people in the room right now. And um, that's a comfortable number. What is the best way to get your U.S. mail in the Philippines? <sighs> That's a great question, man. Um, there is no such thing as the best way. If you were to mail me a letter, you would have just put an address in. It wouldn't come to my house. I don't have a mailbox. It would go to the Valencia Post Office. 
and I would have to drive over there and check to see if I have any mail. And it would probably take two to three months to get a simple letter from wherever you're at in America to here to the Philippines with a stamp on it. Most people will use, um, what's it called? LBC. Well, LBC, they ship packages. I think they ship mail too. Um, there's good old, what is it, Federal Express? DXL. And DXL, that's what it is. DHL. DHL is probably the fastest way to get something over here. <clears throat> Mark Dorton here. I just can't seem to get this kid registered. Oh, let's give Mark a break, shall we? Ball is bigger the better. I think May just wants to um, fill out her clothes. She's, what are you, a 32A? All Asians are small. I mean, Georgiana, I watched the eclipse of two different welder helmets, and the sun was so bright that I actually killed one of them. Wow. Well, hey. OC Stalker. I just got a call from Robert Kennedy. He wanted money. I wished him well. <laughs> Did you? What are you getting those robocalls? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are brutal. I knew I shouldn't have brought this up. But I figured, hey, what the hell? You only go around once, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like to talk about the truth. You ask what's going on in my life. That's what's going on in our life. We're talking about cosmetic surgery. I said I got an offer from a guy in Manila to come up, and he would give me a deal and um, get a new set of boobs. <laughs> wait till the, uh, wait till the uh, what do you call it, the troll channels get a hold of this live stream. <laughs> They're going to have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. On the uh, if you're talking about the social security deal, you have to go to Manila. Dog fight still working, hopefully, getting retirement papers done this month. Working on the plan, keep it on, brother. Yeah, I did a little video about moving money and all that kind of stuff. I didn't hit all the points, but I tried to hit some of them. So something about why I retired early, I think, was the title. <clears throat> Same if you're a veteran, it takes a lot of paperwork and time. Everything takes paperwork and time over here. I don't care who you are. First time, say hi to you. Thank you. Wife and I bought a home in Cavite, prepping it for my retirement, still working. Just got home from a two-and-a-half-week vacation there. Right on. That's always a nice idea if you can come out here and the wifey's got some property or got a house and you're rehabbing it or getting it ready to go. You come out, get it going, and um, then when you finally retire, boom, in you go. Nice. Vanity is a sin. No on plastic surgery. Paul, did you ever consider Latin America? I didn't. Latin America always scared me. I always, when I think Latin America, I'm probably being overly weird, but I always thought drug cartels, and uh, I don't speak Spanish, and from what I understand, um, if you live over there, you pretty well need to know Spanish, so I don't think it would be a fit. I'm definitely getting a feedback on the speaker. You guys have problems with my speaker? Check my message I wrote earlier. It's me, YouTuber. Use that doctor. Talk to him. Chris. YouTuber, use that doctor. Talk to him. Did you use him or another guy? Bato, B-A-T-O. We'll see how you get anybody that knows him. You have hay fever. I might. But I have these sneeze attacks. Is Gaylord a dual citizen? <laughs> Gaylord's a felon. <laughs> you can't get a passport, that bastard. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's see, a few months back, you had a medical checkup in Thailand. How did you choose the hospital? If you don't mind sharing, which hospital did you go with? We went with BKK, Bangkok Hospital. Excellent. In Bangkok, they had one in Phuket Town. Um, it's just Bangkok Hospital. And we went online and looked. They had packages that you could buy. And professional. They checked May out. She went off in one direction for the females. I went off in another direction for the males. And uh, the only thing we had to do was fast the night before. And we got ourselves all squared away. We both came back with pretty good reports, too. Thank you very much. Let's see here. We are really behind the gun. 10th mountain in the house. There she is. Well, this is a little way behind. <laughs> you came on like a half hour ago. Hey, we're getting foggy. Why we why do we get blurry all of a sudden? Signal. The signal might be bad. Things blur. Did you get the marriage license yet? Yeah. Yes. I don't know why we just went. Will you grab one of those little rags? Yeah. Maybe it's just humid in here. I'm I sorry for the other work. Fly. Say so what? Fly. Why? Thank you, Charles. Uh, yes, we did get a marriage license. Membership is so positive. Thank you, Linda. Let me try to clean this off, guys. I don't know what happened. Any better? No. So we got blurry all of a sudden. We have technical issues to Well, I'm going to blow through this. It's getting a little, oh, that's a little better. Yeah. Okay. I think you have the fly on as well. We got a fly? Yeah, let's go fly. Oh, okay. Top cat, thank you very much. We appreciate the help. Finally made a live chat for Baby Mays Construction Fund. Right on. Oh, thank you. Construction fund or boob job? What are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> That's awesome. So we got a lot of Mark Thornton comments here. I kind of just want to blow through those because no offense, but we need to get caught up. Let's see. My life, Ty, did you ever eat the street food or court food? Do you ever get food poisoning? Um, we got sick from what's it called? No, we're not the name because it's Oh, don't give the name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's right. We shouldn't, we shouldn't tell you. Um, so yeah, we've had street food, and yes, we've gotten sick from it. And, 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 and the dog got sick from it. <laughs> <laughs> we shared it to the dog. She got sick from it. It was chicken. Put you that way. Um, street food is really good in Thailand. They cook it fresh right in front of you. It's in a wok, being prepared. We're here. It's been sitting out all day. So. Barbecue is good. It's safe. I've never had a problem with it. But if it's been sitting out in the sun all day and there's flies, and they're not, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, you know, there, uh, the weather's hot. Um, it's it's rough. So I'll I'll do the barbecue, but um, primarily we buy our own food, cook our own food, and go to little upper scale restaurants or chains like Sands Revolve or Moon Cafe. Found a lot more success with that. There you go. Mark, thank you very, very much. Oh hey, you're five bucks closer to a boob job. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> and Maddie's helping us out. Thank you very much, Matt. We appreciate you. Let's see, 92 subscribers, 92,000 subscribers. That's great. I remember when we started way back 
when at McDonald's here in Ormac, they never gave my orders right. Once they gave me 18 orders, it was a piece of chicken McNuggets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a we have an interesting time with with orders, at least I do. And um, the main thing is, is, don't lose your cool. It's not that big a deal. If they get your order wrong, it's wrong. Um, Treat people the way you want to be treated, I suppose. See, I was in the service industry for a long, long time. I dealt with retail. And I know what it's like to be talked down to. And it's not a good feeling. And it doesn't help. Complaining doesn't do no good. Uh, you'll get a lot further with a compliment. And if they get your order wrong, how many times, I don't know, I can't count. How many times they've screwed up our orders and we just looked at it and went ahead and ate it. We didn't send it back. We didn't complain. Yes. We just we just said, well, okay, we ordered a sandwich and we got a hot dog. <laughs> so, okay, let's just eat the hot dog and get it over with. It's just food on our stomach. Um, kind of the way that we run. And then here comes Goldfinger. Goldfinger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running two comments here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here's Goldfinger, as usual, peddling something. He's got his free ebook. It's ready to rock and roll. Goldfinger and I are going to do a little video together promoting that. I've got enough links going into this. We're going to do a link for John's video, one for Veritas, and one for getting a K1 visa. Um, and then I want to do a separate thing with Goldfinger. He's got an ebook, which is kind of like a handbook for Dumaguete for Dummies. It's where he's listed out. He's taken a lot of time, a lot of energy to promote, uh, not promote, but to describe knucklehead stuff. We call it knucklehead stuff, but it's actually um, brick and mortar stuff you need to do prior to moving out here how to navigate the system, exchanging money. Um, it goes on and on and on. He's on his ninth version. I haven't read it yet because I read version six, seven, and eight, and that was enough. I, that's probably why I got sick. It was from Goldfinger's friggin' ebook. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the team there, Goldfinger. Famous Good old famous Goldfinger. Good morning. Good morning, Duke. Let's see. Jin Gio, Philippine Journey. Hopefully, we meet you when we come June 8th for good, leaving America. Time to relax and build our house in Bligan City, two hours north of Dumaguete, by all means. The rule for fake boobs is always go big, so you don't have to come back a few years later to get bigger. Okay. Little finger. See, I skipped through comments. Let's see. More than a mouthful is wasted. Right. May's perfect size right now, if you ask me. But for some reason, she likes the idea of having a larger bust line. Let's see. As many viewers, we certainly appreciate you and Baby May regarding all the subjects and guests that share your blog. Well, thank you very much. We try. Try to keep it a little variety show. Sound is LC 5x5. Five five. Good. Yeah, man. I thought that I didn't know that blurriness just came out of nowhere. May said a fly landed on it or a nap. Cover and it covered up the lens. So um, I thought it was blind too. Let's see. Have you ever gone to Elo? It looks good for an expat. Still deciding where to settle. We went to Elo. Yes, I love Elo. She loves Elo, girl. I love the Elo. Girl. There, I love it. Oh, I can't stop talking about this friggin' hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got streets, you got walkways, you got all these condos going up, and she's talking about a hamburger. Mm -hmm. uh, but we didn't. And the food. Oh, the food was good. The. The oh, the buffet? Yeah, yeah. Nothing me likes more than a good buffet. I hope it's done, 
She loves a buffet. She doesn't. He eats like a bird around the house. But throw her ass in front of a buffet, and she knows it's all she can eat for one set price. She's there for hours. She just loves it. She finds room. She makes room. God bless her. Yeah, when I sprayed when I sprayed the lens, I burnt your eyes. I apologize for that. Now we're looking good. All right, we're back in action. I know I skipped some some comments. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get more current. Uh, you know that every live stream I do, I lose. I lose subscribers. People unsubscribe. It's, right? Yeah, it's more in depth. Yeah, like, like, it's like three to five people unsubscribe. I think they get mad because I don't do the comments. Or they just don't like what I talk about. I don't know. Whatever. Super sticker. Thank you very much, yeah. Ed. Look there. You're $10 yeah. closer to having bigger boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Five more from Killer, Killer Cowboy Killer. What do you, what do you think? Thank huh? you so much. Wow. Waiting for the trans Wow, trans wow, trans wow. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Paul and me. I got a question. Do I need an apostle, my divorce certificate, and birth certificate before I get to the Philippines, or can I get them apostle in the U.S. Embassy there? I forgot what apostle means. I know that I just I had my birth certificate. And my divorce papers. And I don't remember having to have them apostle. I forgot what apostle means. Anything like that. So they didn't have to do it. That's why I don't know. I've heard it a hundred times and I can't remember what it means. Google. Sorry, bro, but I, if I don't know the answer, I'm not going to lie to you and make something up. Let's see. Hi, Paul and May from Queens, New York. The Getty Museum might be a great stop all near Hollywood. Free admission and great grounds and views of the city. Yeah, it's Sepulveda Pass. I used to go over the Sepulveda Pass every day. I used to pass by the Getty Museum. I never went in. But you're talking about if I take May to America, that would be a I don't know if she'd like a museum or not. I know I would. It's a good, it's a good option. Here's a hide a gold finger. Let's see, I rarely complain when I get bad service. I just never go there again if possible. I take the same tact. I will actually give two swings to a place. Um, sometimes I realize that I got them on a bad day. There's been places where I've gone and it's been impeccable. And then I take a couple of friends with me and it's horrible because the cook quit or the waitress left or whatever. Um, so there's, it's hard to get rhyme or reason out here. What we have found is the chain restaurants are always the same. McDonald's doesn't change. Jollibee doesn't change. Sands Rival, which is a chain restaurant, the food is always the same. Moon Cafe, yes. always the same. Service levels will change with what day you walk in there. Sometimes they're right all they're all over it, and other days they're slow as Christmas. But the food itself is is consistent. Um, I think that's the big problem is consistency. Goldfinger took me to a restaurant that he said was great. And now it's for sale a week later. <laughs> Let's see. Do you ever travel outside the Philippines? Yes. Me and I have been to Thailand together. And I have been to Thailand, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, back to the States. Where else did I go? I think that's it. I went somewhere else. I can't remember. Um, I think that's it. Let's see. Same I helped Goldfinger with. Right on. Thank you very much, BJ. There you go, BJ. Thank you. The boobs are getting bigger by the moment here. <laughs> oh, the ogre. Paul Old Dog, I owe you a lot. When researching retirement financial videos, YouTube brought you up. Thank you very much, my friend. We appreciate your kindness. 
And BJ, you are not forgotten. You are an awesome guy. Thanks for helping us, and thanks for helping Goldfinger. We appreciate you very much. Oh, wait, what's this? Um, apostle is a certification that a paper is valid. Sort of like a notary, huh? Um, I didn't have to have anything apostle. John Cook, $20. Thank you very much for your, for your generosity. We appreciate that very much. I've been divorced three times. Do I need all three or just the last one? I would bring all three. Um, I was divorced twice, and I brought the last one. And I must tell you, it weighed heavily on me that they would ask for the other one. Now, you would think, being logical, that if you have last divorce papers, you wouldn't have a third wife if you hadn't divorced first and the second also. That just is the chain of command. You can't get to a marriage number three unless you're divorced from one or two. But you just don't know. My my advice, which I hate to give, but I'm going to give it anyway, bring all three. And then um, don't lie. If they ask you how many times you've been married, don't three times, divorced three times. If they ask for all three of them, you got them. And um, you just don't want to get caught in that quagmire of, you know, deception. I actually did not bring my divorce papers <clears throat> with me originally. I was bound and determined never to get married again <laughs> when I first showed up in the Philippines. And things changed. So when I went home to America, what was it, a couple of years ago? Yeah. Um, I made sure I got my divorce papers because by then I had met baby May and I knew that I wanted to marry her. But I knew I couldn't get married without the divorce papers. So I say the more the merrier. So much for Sheila in Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing. Yeah. Sheila in Dubai. I got my ass. Let me just click her out working. Yeah. Goldfinger playing darts tonight at Sideways, could you pull? Here's Sammy. How are you, Sammy? So I didn't know uh, Goldfinger played darts. I made four mistakes. <laughs> Need four sets. What's up, Andy? I don't know. Expat Bruce. <coughs> I had to show both, both these decrees here. They asked for both. At first, they just gave me a laugh, but they said, where's the first one? There you go. Everybody's experience is different. So I told them I've been divorced twice. And I couldn't get my first, well, my first wife died. So there was no way to get the divorce papers. I don't even know where they were. Um, so I would have been screwed on that. I tried to find public records, but couldn't. <clears throat> of course, that was <clears throat> from here. But I got away with it. But thank you for answering that, because the gentleman before says he's been three times separated, divorced, and just might need all three. The more, the merrier. I can't say it enough. Perhaps Gillian, thank you very much. Baby May, you're getting closer and closer to us. Side C. Hey, Uncle Paul, Lee and Baby May. Mike, good to see you. When you first visited Asia, did you get any booster shots? Um, you know what? I looked into that before coming out here. 
Um, he had to go to the Department of Health. They didn't want to hassle with it. And they had a clinic that was set up to where you could get vacation shots, they call them, for malaria and this and that and the other. And I just never did it because it was too expensive. Um, I'm not saying don't do it, but I didn't. There's our friend, Delta Chris. What have you been doing, big dog? Huh? What's new? What's exciting? You still following Clapton around town? Everywhere he goes? Let's see. We got to the end. Should we call it a day? DHL, $100 in three to five business days. There you go. Yeah, it's not cheap. Let's see. Come on. Hit the like button. Likes are free this afternoon. This morning. Yeah, this said. morning. Let's see. Where are we at here? Should get the shingles. I didn't know there was a vaccine for that. If there was a vaccine for shingles, I would take it. I heard that's painful. And I forget what it is. It's like if you get it shocked or something. Was it? chicken pots or measles or something that you can develop it where you don't get the shot. I don't remember. Oh, that's Google. That's me. I got to Google. Why? Let's see. Paul, oh, you need the original when you try to get her spouse a visa contract to count your state send 50, 50 bucks each state difference. You will need the original when you try to get her spousal visa. Oh, are you talking about her birth certificate? We've been through there. Take care, y'all. Later till next time. I guess that's uh, us being signed off. I guess we're done with our live stream. I don't know what time we started or how long we've been on here, but there's 400 people still in the house. I want to thank you all. Um, I'm sorry if I missed your... Let me go up here. I was trying to get caught up. I don't know who I missed. I apologize, guys, if I missed you, but I did jump down because I wanted to make sure that I, was, I wasn't I was too far behind. And I don't want to do the Thornton stuff, and I don't want to talk about, um, you know, what's his doodle, Cardwell. Oh, just discovered your channel yesterday through the saga of John. God bless that man. Yeah, I am going to put a link. Let me remind everybody here. I'm going to put a link to John's final video. Um, there's actually a playlist of John. But a lot of people have been asking about him. And I took his video down at his request because um, he said he didn't want any more. He got all emotional about it. And then he wrote back and said, I'm sorry. I watched the video and it's really nice. So go ahead and put it back up. So, okay, John, that's John for you. And uh, May got very upset by the message that he left me. Yeah. But that's another story that we'll just keep private. Um, no good deed goes unpunished, right? <laughs> here's, a, here's a true statement. Goldfinger is so funny. Yeah. He's getting attacked every now and then by the trolls. So you know he's getting popular. You know, you're not getting bashed by somebody. You're doing something wrong. So good job, Bill Picker. So if you want Paul to keep doing his channel, unsubscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> I said when I get to 100,000, we might change our venues a little bit. <laughs> drama only if you look for it. People talk about all the drama in Angela City, but the four trips I made to Angeles, I found it to be a very peaceful and good city. I agree. I did go to Angeles. Um, I was there for three days and two nights. I didn't see any drama in Angeles. I had a great time in Angeles. I thought the people were very nice, very friendly. I don't know. Yeah, good morning to you, too. Um, I'm way behind in comments, Goldfinger, if you're still in the room. But Goldfinger knew I was sick. 
Let's see. I think we missed this guy. Hello, guys from Palm Springs, California. One of the original expats was not only got any fights fought in the rappers or got put in jail and deported for us warrants. You know what? I've never been in a fight either, ever in my life. Never have I had a physical altercation with anybody. This is funny. As many times as I've had to subscribe, you should be over 200,000. <laughs> We're looking for likes, okay? Let's bump up the likes. Let's see if we've got any last minute goodbyes. <laughs> I think we've got some. Oh, we do have new people. Damn, hi, Paul. Thumbs up. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. Have you seen Jim Hansen? I don't know Jim. Maybe I've seen him around and I just don't know who he is. And maybe may apply for Social Security in the U.S. Embassy or does she have to do it in America? Good dog. I believe it's got to be done in America. Um, she would have to go over there, get a Social Security number, go through all the hoopla, stay at least three years. Uh, my friend... Um, goes by the, the name Biff, is doing that right now with his wife. That might be one of the projects. My wife is actually my project, is once we do the house build, we might look into um, the America thing of getting her uh, citizenship over there, green card, so she could take advantage of my benefits. We're just going to keep on the best we can. Oh, there's Delta. Yeah, okay. All right, so what do we got? Night, new boob fund. <laughs> <laughs> and for $19.99, she'll show you her original ones right now. <laughs> Arriving in Cebu in two weeks from Buffalo, New York. Paul, we've chatted on Facebook Messenger in the past, and I'd love to come visit Duma once I'm settled into my Cebu condo attached to IL Mall Center. Well, God bless. We've chatted on Messenger. By the way, I do chat on Messenger. I don't have a consultation fee or anything like that. So you guys hit me up as long as you don't keep me on the horn for, you know, every day. Um, I'm cool with it. Let's see. Eric Clapton is playing at the Royal Albert Hall in London next month. We have tickets, but we can't go now. Why? Delta Chris goes to every Clapton concert. Can you believe it? I guess he can't make it to this. Let's see. Brian just went through the shingles. Now it's very been nerve bay. It's chicken pox. That's what I couldn't think of. I would take that vaccine all day long. Let's see. CDC now recommends several shots. When I visited, no need, but moving there and getting a few shots. And that's sage advice right there. I did the same thing. I didn't get any shots, but I got a full workup before I moved here. I made sure um, I didn't have any issues. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Let's see. Baby May can't get, yeah, that's correct. That was three or five years, something like that. But she would have to live there five years before she could get that. It's a whole new plot. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have any problem with that. I just don't know if we can afford it. But we'll see what God does. Shingles vaccine. I got it at Walmart. Didn't you know? Well, you can get everything you want at Walmart. Get your taxes done. You get a haircut. You buy groceries, clothes. Vaccine, go to the dentist, <laughs> buy shoes. May wouldn't believe. All right, good night, everyone. It looks like we're going to bring this to an end. I never know how long, and people are dropping off, so that's okay. Um, I would love to get that vaccine. Shingles is painful, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy, and we have discussed that. Let's see. A good live chat would be Dean Goldfinger and you. No kidding. I should bring Goldfinger. In fact, that's a good idea. 
maybe I'll talk to Goldfinger and maybe we'll do a Goldfinger live stream. How would you like like that? Leave it in the comments. I'm going to put the K1 visa in the top. I'm going to pin that comment because so many people inquired about it. I'm going to put the link to John's video, Veritas, as far as people looking for lawyers and buying land and stuff like that. And then Goldfinger and I will talk and maybe we will schedule or unschedule. I like spur of the moment stuff, a live stream with Goldfinger with me right here on the channel. Everybody loves Goldfinger, except for the trolls. Goldfinger, you're famous now. You've got trolls. <laughs> May, why is sometimes shampoo an issue with live-in employment? Expensive. Shampoo. Shampoo in hair and everything is cheaper. Yeah. I don't understand the question exactly. With living employment, I don't know what that means. Shampoo's not that expensive. All right, here's a good one. Bites are highly overrated. Let's see. K Hart, you didn't read my super chat. Let me go find your super chat, buddy. I apologize. K Hart, super chat. There. There it is. I thought I did. Yes. New boob job fund. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your chat. Thank you very much for that. And chat me up on Messenger. Hey, my buddy Zane. I haven't seen this name in a million years. Yeah. Hey, Paul, baby man. Don't forget to comment. And it will be a miracle because I'm coming in so late. I've been listening with you guys in the background for over an hour. I love it. We love you too, Zane. And you've been with me like forever. Yeah, cost of living out here is good. I have not been in the Philippines since 1999 when I was in the Navy. Let's see. Hello. Hello, Howard. Hey, from New Hampshire. Hi, Paul. I was hoping to see in November you interviewed my sister in the law, Bria. Oh, yeah. How are you? Bria, sweet girl. We're going to build on the mountains right on. Hey, Brandon. I had shingles in Cebu last. It was really not really around for about three. Now I have to wait a year so I can get the vaccine. When they come up with a vaccine out here, I may just go ahead and get that for both of us. Goldfinger live stream would be awesome. I agree. Just imagine if we could get Dean involved. <laughs> All right, kids. Uh, I'm going to run through it. Everybody's saying, please announce Goldfinger. And check this out. Have we have a new member. I love the picture. Wow. Thank you very much for joining my 99 cent store. For the high, high price of 99 cents a month, you too can get involved in our goofy member videos. Great, my wife, Prim, and we'll look for you. Cool. Northern Mariana Islands live on. SSA eligibility, Guam won't work. Seven hour flight to Manila. Ah. Do you spend any time with Greg and Wilma? When we can. Uh, Greg and Wilma were very gracious and had us over for lunch and took us around and showed us houses. And that was too long ago. And we owe them a lunch. Yeah. And we have been trying and trying and trying to connect. But Greg and Wilma are busy because they have a YouTube channel and a lot of people want to meet with them and they do their best to accommodate it. That Greg was saying he's going to cut it down to just Wednesdays. He's just going to go to one place. I think he's going to go to Critter Republic on Wednesdays, say, I'm here from this time to this time. If you guys want to come and ask me questions about building, then let me know, uh, which is a good idea. Kind of like a personalized meet and greet where he can meet everybody because 
life happens and it's hard for us sometimes to personally meet everybody that wants to um may actually goes when we have errands to run and things to do and appointments to keep like a dentist appointment we have to get there or a business meeting we need to get to or meeting a contractor or something like that that's really important or we got a bus to move we just try to stay under the radar um but when we walk down the street or we're roaming around Dumaguete, it's inevitable that three to five people will stop us and say hello yeah. and that's all well and good as long as we just stop to say hello but occasionally we run into somebody that decides they need to tell us their life story <laughs> and we're trying to get somewhere so may will go out in disguise she wore a baseball hat sunglasses and a mask mm-hmm. and she doesn't want to get recognized so check it out we got a new member new member Doing great with members today. Now I got to come up with a video for you guys. Old dog, can you do what you want with plastic surgery, but we'll be very upset if you lure Monty along. <laughs> oh, Monty. Gotta love Monty. I want to start my channel. Greg and Wilma and Greg. Greg is so detail oriented, I'd have him build my house any day i agree he's a lot better than i ever be he was there every day of the build and you know what they are both may i just emphasize very very nice people just good human beings big hearts very generous very kind people good morning may the balloonish boobs bounce oyster fruit i love it yeah, we don't know about boobs yet. We're going to go check it out and check it out. Maybe she thinks she wants it, but we'll see. My blood pressure has lowered dramatically since I've been here, thinking about eliminating one of my BP meds. It has a way of doing that. Um, my blood pressure tanked once I got here. I had blood pressure pills in the drawer over there, and they said, Paul, you don't only need to take it at night, and uh, you wouldn't want to take it during the day because it would get too low. You can knock out. So anyway. All right. Well, I'm going to live end on this one. Be well, everyone. May Christ's blessing and peace be among you all. I cannot think of a better way to end the live stream. Thank you all. God bless. Spot a cup. And we will see Thank you next you, time. Everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah,